In today's world, there's never a shortage of things that demand your attention. But taking charge is easy with the GroupWise task list. In this video, I'll show you how to create and manage tasks in Novell GroupWise 2014. In GroupWise, tasks come in two varieties, personal and group. Personal tasks are just that. They belong to you and are sent only to your task list. Group tasks allow you to assign a task to your colleagues and track their progress on it. Creating a group task for other people is easy. In the main GroupWise window, I click New Task on the toolbar. Then, I fill in the to list with assignees. Select a due date, add a subject, and add some notes for the assignees in the message body. When I'm done, I click Send, and the task is sent to the assignees. For any assigned task, there are two parties, the assignee, who will be completing the task, and the sender, who will be monitoring its completion. I'll begin by showing you how to accept and modify a task as if you were the assignee. Like appointments, tasks appear in your mailbox when they're sent to you. Also like appointments, they can be accepted or declined. I'll begin by opening a task. The task opens in a read view, and a series of options are displayed across the bottom of the message window. In the Accept menu, you have a choice of whether to accept the task and which of your calendars you want to accept it into. In the Decline menu, you can choose whether to delete the task from your mailbox after you decline it, and you can add a comment that will appear in the task properties in the sender's Sent Items folder. Once accepted, tasks can be accessed and managed from many places in the GroupWise interface. The task list is a good place to start. The task list is the center of your GroupWise tasks and gives you the most options for managing them. The task organization bar, located at the top of the screen, allows you to reorder your task list or add sub-items to existing tasks. From here, you can move a task to the top of the list, move a task to the bottom of the list, create a sub-item to the selected task, convert a task into a sub-item of the task above it, convert a task from being a sub-item into being a regular task, and move a task up or down one space in the list. If you right-click the Columns header, you can also add new columns that allow you to better manage your tasks, for example, CC recipients or size. More complex actions can be performed from inside a task. From here, you can change the subject, keep track of the percent complete, and assign a priority order. If you open the Options slide-out tab, you can add personal notes, attach the task to a contact, or assign a category for the task, such as personal or follow-up. If needed, you can also use the Change To drop-down to change the task into another item type. Another good place to manage your tasks is the GroupWise calendar. Click the Calendar tab at the top of the GroupWise main window to open the calendar, and your task list is displayed beneath the appointment area. From here, you can mark a task complete by clicking the box next to it. As before, more complex actions can be performed from inside a task. If you click the Home tab at the top of the screen, the task list panel is also included in the default home view. In addition to viewing your tasks here, you can also click in the task list panel and start typing to add a personal task to your task list. Use this method when you need to quickly add action items to your personal task list. As the sender of a task, you can use GroupWise to track whether assignees have accepted the task, see whether they've completed it, and read any task comments. For someone who assigns tasks often, like a team leader, this is essential. When you open your Sent Items folder, you see a list of items you've sent to other users. 
This list includes all different types of items, but tasks can be identified by the task icon that appears beside them. By opening a task you've sent, you can see what assignees have done with it by looking at the information on the Properties tab. The Recipient column shows who the task was sent to, while the Action and Date and Time columns show what's been done with it and when. These columns will update as new actions are performed by assignees. The Comment column shows any comments that were added when assignees accepted or declined the task. Use this information to know when and how the tasks you assign are being completed. The Task List is a powerful, accessible, and customizable tool that allows you to take control of your workflow. Use these skills to manage your next project or deliver team member assignments and discover the organized world of GroupWise. To learn more about Novell GroupWise, please visit novell.com documentation. Thanks for watching.